y'all, this is Rachel at Johnson Branch Farm, and I'm so excited. I'm getting ready to show you the inside of our single wide mobile home that we purchased for our property and kind of give you a little insight as to why we made such a risky investment, what our thoughts were and our vision for this house. A few months ago, we finally closed on the most perfect piece of property. It has a beautiful creek that runs through it. It's got a pond, it's got pastures, it's got apple trees. It backs up to forest service, there's wildlife. It's literally everything we wanted. The only problem, there was nowhere to live. So we had to start looking into our options. Do we build a house? Do we pull in a house? How are we going to do this? Be debt free or close to our goal of being debt free? Our value is in the land. You cannot make land. You can make a new house. You can come up with different ways to live. We knew that the value of our land was higher than what we purchased it for and bringing in something like a mobile home was not going to affect that. I know there's tons of stereotypes out there. They're not safe. They're not energy efficient. They don't hold their value. They're a bad investment. And I took every single one of those into consideration. So we started putting out feelers. If there was maybe a house, an old farmhouse that needed to be moved off some land, or if there was an old mobile home, I got one response back from an older couple who had this house passed on to them by their late mother and we went to go see it. That was about nine months ago. We had no idea that it was gonna take so long for surveys and closings and all of that to happen. So we told the couple, you know what, we'll pay the lot rent. That's the whole reason you're selling it. If you just don't mind holding for us, they agreed. We had to have the county inspector go out and look at the house and even approve it to come into our county. He did and he approved it, which was huge because he does not like mobile homes for exactly the reasons I listed. And this couple agreed to let us pay the lot rent in the meantime. But little did we know, they were actually applying the lot rent to our balance. So this is a 1995 single wide mobile home. It's three bedrooms, two baths, just under 1300 square foot. And we purchased it for $10,000. Now we did have to pay a company to bring it in, which was a huge fee in itself. It's 80 feet long. So finding somebody to do that was not the easiest thing, but we found a company. It cost us a pretty penny, but they got it here safe and sound and we could not be more excited. I honestly never thought I would be so excited to live in a mobile home, but we've completely gutted it. We're going to bring it out in 1995. We're going to put our charm and our style in on it and really make this our home. Is this our forever home? It's hard to say. We've talked about possibly building a cabin. We've talked about maybe seeing if there's something that comes up for sale that borders our property. Right now, this is gonna be our home. It's everything we need. Our needs will be met. We'll be happy and we'll be comfortable. And that's the most important thing. So I'm just going to kind of show you around, give you an idea of our before, and I'll take you along on the process and you get to see kind of the style and things that I'm excited to show you all. This is the master bedroom. It's got a master bathroom. It's got a pretty good size closet. I'm going to take you into the dining room. Again, I get to put my cute little hutch here. I get to put our cute little dining room table. It has a laundry room and a back door off the back. I've never had a laundry room, so I'm actually really excited about that. Then it connects into the kitchen, a little galley style kitchen. We're gonna keep the cabinets. We're gonna try to do this as budget friendly and as cheap as possible because Again, our goal is to be debt free. I'm going to paint the cap uppers white. I'm gonna, I plan on doing the bottom like a pretty little blue color. We'll see how that goes. It looks good in my head, but what it looks like on the cabinets, that's to be determined. So we'll just see. We're gonna just kind of play all this by ear. So we're gonna go through the kitchen. Again, we're gonna get all new appliances, new flooring. We're just gonna do a simple laminate floor. 
because this this is a mobile home so it's not something that you would go i mean you could put granite countertops and hardwood floors in there it's your house but it just doesn't really make sense for us really trying to stick to a tight budget we really 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 want to be debt free then you walk into the living room we already purchased that heater which is fantastic there's my awesome new stove well new to me stove because you know I don't buy new things um it also came with I don't know if you can see it it came with this piano <laughs> um my kids are super excited about it but that again is still to be determined um I don't know if we're gonna have the space for it I just I just don't know about that it needs some work all right so we're gonna walk through here in here will be my little baby girl's room. And this is exciting in itself because has not had her own room since she's been ever. Um, she's been staying in with us, so we're gonna transition her off into her own little space. That's gonna be a cute little girl's room. Excited to show you that. We have another bathroom. It's dark because we don't have the power hooked up yet. That's been a whole ordeal again. We bought raw land, so we had to get power, we had to get propane, we had to get a well, we put our own septic in, we couldn't even get to the home site because a creek crossed, we had to put a culvert in. All these big things have had to be done, and since they're big, it feels like it's literally taking forever, but we're getting there. We've had the power installed, it's in the process of being hooked up to the home, Propane's here, septic's in, well scheduled to come out. It's it's all finally falling into place. Now I'm standing in what will be my boys' room. Really good sized bedrooms. They've got good closet space. They'll have room for their beds, room for their toys. They get their own space back again. Living in a camper has been fun, but it's time for that season to come to a close. And I'm going to go into that more on some other videos, explain kind of what we've been doing, how we've been making it flow, how I organize everything. There are some essentials that you need when you're living in a camper and just kind of go through all of that. So this is our modest little home. It's not really for everybody. Some people just don't feel comfortable going that route. But for us, this made the most sense. So I hope you enjoyed that video, why we bought this mobile home. You might be a little more open-minded to that idea. Maybe you're getting ready to take on a farm, looking for a cheaper option, you're looking to be debt-free, gives you adequate space, a great roof over your head, and after all, a home, a home is what you make it. If you're interested in following along on our journey, following along on our remodel, hit the subscribe button, comment if you've ever done anything like this before, or maybe you live in a mobile home. Thanks guys, I look forward to taking you along with us. Have a great day.